Alright guys, what's up? MD Gary here. I wanted to show you guys my uh, EDC kind of backpack. This is actually not really an EDC bag. It's more of a work backpack for me. Um, I work in an ambulance, of course, hence the name Gary EMT or EMT Gary. And I really wanted to showcase this bag for all the EMTs working out there uh, who work on rigs, uh, ambulances, um, maybe even fire engines or whatever. Uh, but this is pretty much a bag that I wanted to show off that has stuff in it that would help during work or you know um, what I carry while I'm at work um, so this backpack itself is a uh, newer sport kind of military backpack picked up on Amazon for like 18 bucks it's cheap it's not the best quality but what I wanted was something small it's uh, actually really small and it fits pretty much anywhere which is what you want when you're working on a rig because uh, it's small back there in the in the cab. Uh, a lot of times we don't have a lot of places to put stuff. Uh, even if you have like lunch or a jacket, and then a backpack, you know you don't have very much room inside the rig. So uh, this backpack is pretty much small for that purpose. It still fits a lot of stuff in it. I'll show you uh, what I got in it. Um, pretty much uh, has a lot of extra stuff that I wouldn't normally have, or I do have uh, extra stuff in here that I normally have on my person um, but I'll show you what I usually carry on my person uh, right now alright so this is normally the stuff I would carry on my person uh, working as an EMT uh, except for this water bottle of course this would be like in a cup holder in the rig but always uh, good to have extra water uh, if you're not gonna buy a drink or you know something like that during shift always gotta stay hydrated uh, as well as have extra food. I don't have any food in my bag right now, but I will put some in right uh, after this video. But always good to have extra snacks just in case you don't have time to get anything while you're on shift. It's going to be a busy day or something like that. Um, this is pretty much a basic, basic setup. Um, BLS, ALS, whatever would you work. Uh, this is some just good stuff to have. Good stuff to have. Uh, I got my wallet and phone. Always good to have phone. Will keep you entertained, or you know, if you want to do stuff while you're on post or something. Um, keys for my car. You know, you gotta get the shift somehow. Uh, wallet has my all my IDs, driver license, and everything in that. Money to buy some food if you need to, or buy whatever else you need. You can go shopping while you're on on shift. Uh, a watch. I recommend getting a watch because you gotta take vitals, and you gotta go by the seconds, and then you add that to a minute for heart rate and respirations and all that stuff. I recommend getting like a kind of cheap watch. This is like really, really cheap. This is like eight bucks, but I recommend getting like a, maybe like a G-Shock or something. I've seen a lot of guys with like nice gold watches and they got they're like, I don't know why you would wear that, but you know, you want to get something cheap just in case you lose it, you break it, you know, you scratch it. Uh, I scratched this, you can't probably see it on the camera, but I scratched this a few times. Uh, I like this one because, you know, 24 hour uh, clock, which is what all military EMS and fire use. And it's got a digital second, so it's easier to just count seconds that way. Um, but yeah, e easy, cheap watch, waterproof, everything like that. You can wash it off if you get blood on it or something like that. Um, other stuff I carry, pen light. I usually have like a roll of tape as well. Uh, it's in, what's in the bag right now. Um, extra pen. I usually carry like two or, two or three pens. This is not necessary. I just like to have this. I'll carry this on me everywhere I go, whether I'm shift or not. Uh, working. Uh, it's just a basic eight dollar knife I picked up on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's already peeling in here. Spring assist. Uh, it's got a nice uh, sharp edge, serrated edge. Um, what do you call it here? Uh, window punch and seatbelt cutter. I never actually tried those things and I barely even use this knife. I just like having it as a backup. Got my water bottle and then always good to have some shears because you're not going to be cutting stuff with like a knife or something so any kind of trauma shears will be good these are just some cheapy ones that my work gave me uh, but it's always good to have uh, scissors you never know when somebody needs a nurse needs it or they don't have theirs or something like that um, you know they, they do sell like really really expensive ones like the Leatherman Raptor ones seventy dollars those are really really good they can cut through like almost anything I've seen I've seen people cut up pennies with it it's really cool but these are just cheap easy you can cut like basic clothes with it and then I got a carabiner right here with my ID badge, which I usually wear, and then uh, on my like shoulder. And then I got a key, a key to get into base. And then I also put uh, the ambulance keys on here, as well as anything else, other keys I have. And then I'll have like a radio or a pager, you know, the Nextel or something like that, that I don't have right here because I'm obviously not at work. So that's what I carry on me. Um, 
in the pocket. I'll go or my pockets. I'll go in uh, what I got in my uh, backpack right now. All right. So hopefully you guys focus is okay on this, but um, let me just go over what I got in the outside of this bag. Uh, I got extra pen, easy to grab. Extra set of trauma shears uh, with the carabiner with some paracord around it. Uh, I have this uh, carabiner attached to the uh, trauma shears just so it won't fall out, or, and or if it does, it'll catch it. And then I got a sharpie right here. It's nice. It comes with nice molly webbing. You could put a lot more stuff like extra pen lights or something like that you got in there. And then I got the Star Life patch and a American flag patch. That's just you know something I had um, extra added extra. You don't need that. It's three dollars each patch. You get them on Amazon as well. Um, you stand the bag up. You have a little clip right here. I don't like this clip to be honest because like I can't figure out how to get it around this patch or around this uh, molly webbing because it's kind of a won't let you get to the second pouch right here too well but uh, there's probably a way around I just haven't figured it out I've only had this bag for a few days so so far it's holding up great uh, I'm gonna go uh, through what's in the top part right here and what you can see here I keep this as my more like hygiene kind of medical extra medical supplies you know I'm not carrying full medical kit or first aid kit in here because obviously I'm working on an ambulance but I got at least a little bit of something because I do sometimes ride my motorcycle to work and I'll have this bag on me but most of the time you know I don't need to carry medical supplies because you know you're obviously working on a rig or an engine or something like that so don't really need that but of course I got spare gloves in here these are some of my favorite ones because they're nice and thin a triangular bandage, you know, has a to use a sling, tourniquet, whatever. Uh, extra tape, I usually keep band-aids in here, or, uh, you know, extra gauze, you know, alcohol, prep pads. And then I got, uh, well, I don't know what these are called, but they're like toothpick kind of things. Let me focus it on it real quick, or maybe not. Uh, but, you know, you, you can, these are good, you're picking out your teeth, or maybe you ate lunch and you got something in your teeth and some bug bugging you all day and you have nothing to get it out with. You know, these these are always nice to have to get, you know, clean, clean teeth out. Uh, then I got mouthwash. That's always good to have. You know, eat a stinky, garlicky lunch or something like that, and you go out to talk to a patient or something, they're not going to be very happy with you. So uh, always good to have that. You can carry toothpaste or toothbrush with you if you really want to, but this is small using. I got it for free at my dentist. So Then, of course, hand sanitizer, always important, uh, just in case your rig doesn't have wipes or hand sanitizer or anything you can't get to a bathroom because you got to go to a next call always good to just have a little tiny bit just to clean your hands off and then I wear contacts so I have spare contacts in here or if you wear glasses or something keep an extra pair of glasses or something to clean them with and uh, yeah have that in there all right and then as I told before it's kind of hard to get around this thing uh, but I'll try to show you what's in here as best as I can it's not very much uh, extra notepad to write stuff down with and headphones i found these are helpful like if you're at a post and you don't want to disturb your partner by playing loud music or playing your movie or whatever you're watching while you're on post um this, these are nice to have this, any kind of headphones so you don't disturb them it's, i find that just to be more respectable unless they want to watch with you you know um then i got oh, the random rubber band okay well that's kind of cool to have i got a cord to charge my gps a lot of Companies will give you a GPS or you could just use your phone or something. Um, but I always have an extra GPS. This is like a really, really old one. It's not even updated, but always good to have an extra GPS and a charger with it. Um, and then I have the USB uh, cigarette lighter. And, and these are always good to have because you could charge anything that uses USB, your phone, your GPS. And I like this one because it has two USB ports. Uh, just in case like your partner needs one and you want to need, and you can both charge your phone or your GPS at the same time a lot of rigs don't have two cigarette lighters or they do they've broken or whatever I've been in rigs that are broken uh, and only have one working so it's always good to have one of these all right there sorry my card got a full I gotta put a new card in uh, I'm gonna go through what else I got I got extra pens pencils whatever USB stick you never know when you need to get some files or something like that show or show something and then I got an extra fork in here. Uh, I've been on places where I forgot a fork when I bought a lunch and it's really annoying to try to find one. So I'll keep an extra one or two in here in this case. And then more pens and pencil. All right, so I'm gonna go through the, this bigger patch. This more has more of the EDC stuff, stuff you'll see in like uh, most people's EDC bags. 
Um, got a free bandana I just got. Um, bandanas have a variety of uses. Always good to have that. Um, this is cool to have on the rig or if you're just bored. Uh, this is you squeeze it, get some nice grip workout. So that's kind of cool. I uh, got a really cheapy, cheapy flashlight. It really sucks, but it works. Um, a lot of times your rig will actually have a flashlight. That's actually like protocol, I think, in some some counties. And then I got a lip balm right here, and then a lighter. You don't really need, uh, need the lighter, but the lip balm is helpful if you get chapped lips or something like that. And then I got an extra set, uh, extra knife my buddy gave me. It's always good to have a knife. This is like a nice, expensive Japanese knife, which is not probably good for cutting anything, but it's just cool to have an extra one besides my EDC uh, cheapy dollar one I got that I carry on me. Okay, in the bigger pouch, I'll fold this out. You can see, kind of you can see in there. Um, I'll go from the top right here. This is uh, just a field guide. It has like vital signs and uh, airway uh, kind of stuff or like drug, all the drugs in here, what they do. You need some Spanish in here if you need to talk in Spanish. That's good to have. I usually carry that actually on me, but I like to have it in here as well. This here is an ERG, just for hazmat kind of stuff. Uh, you get this if you take fro. Um, some counties uh, require you to take it. it. Tells you how far you need to be in a hazmat incident or how how uh, how far away to stay and stuff like that. Um, I always like bringing your own stethoscope. That's always good to have, uh, just in case you know a lot of companies, especially the private ones, have really crappy ones or. Uh, you know, you have a, you lose them all or something. Uh, it's always nice to have your own, because if just in case. Um, this one's really good. It's a Lipman. I picked it up on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Always, if you have a personal one, get your initials on there, or you know, put your uh, label on it to show that it's yours. Because a lot of people have the same one. Uh, I keep an extra blood pressure cuff in here. Not really necessary, but I've been on scenes where you know somebody forgot, forgot one. Especially if you work BLS, you know, you don't get life packed or something like that. Or if that one breaks and you lose another one or something, always good to have if you need to take vitals. Um, I've been on scenes where nobody had one. You know, you're not always going to be in a nursing home or something or a hospital, so I always carry that on me. This here is my Oakley sunglasses slash safety glasses. These are uh, the uh, ballistic M frames. Uh, right now they have this the glasses or the sunglass part on it but it's cool because these come with a uh, clear lens these are good always good to at least carry safety glasses or sunglasses with you these are just the ballistic ones that can kind of you know take a beating from a bullet or something from a diagonal 200 feet away or whatever the hell it was i don't remember um but always good to have safety glasses or um or sunglasses on you and th then oakley also if you work in ems they give you a discount through the standard issue these are normally 200 you can get them for like 100 80 or 170 uh, but this backpack is big enough it's small but it's big enough to fit a book right now I got a book in here I'm I'm working in EMS for a while but I'm also trying to get in the fire so I got a fire book in here and then uh, always good to I guess not you don't really need this but I keep a folder in here to keep extra paperwork you know maybe some forms that we always run out of or something like that or you know maybe someone gives you an application for a job or something you have nowhere to put it so uh, you have somewhere to keep it in and then here's a little tiny pocket in here. It's not very big, but I keep some zip ties in there. Um, you don't really need that while working EMS, but they barely, you know, take up any room. And that's all the stuff I have in my bag. Uh, but again, this is uh, stuff you have while working in uh, an ambulance. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or anything that I should put in here or, you know, you guys think uh, I should take out or something like that, let me know. But yeah, this is strictly if you're working on a on a rig or something. So I'll go over some more EDC stuff. I have extra bags and stuff, of course. So, all right. So that's it. Uh, MT gears out. Thanks.